I have much to share with you, my friends. Do I have so much to share with you, my friends? Comment below where you are watching from. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim here. I want to talk to you about miracle movements being birthed. This is a season of birthing. This is a time and season where miracle movements are being birthed. And I'm very excited and I have such a sense of expectation in my spirit because of the season we're in right now. And this is a season of birthing. And I declare over you, miracle movements are being birthed. You are coming out of stagnation, being stuck, being stuck in a whirlpool, a cyclone, a hurricane of destruction, doom and gloom. And you are being birthed in the glory of God. So there is a birthing taking place. There is a revival, mega movement, miracle movements are taking place. Now, friends, I have a word to share with you. I know it's Sunday. A lot of us, you may be at church or you may be going to church or you may be finishing church service. But I want you to comment below where you are watching from. Amen. Comment below where you are watching from because, friends, I have a word to share with you. There is a realm of miraculous movement, supernatural movement in the atmosphere over the body of Christ, hovering over the waters of the earth. And I want to prophesy over you. I want to declare over you. I want to release this impartation of mega miracle movements in Jesus' name. So I want you to comment below where you were watching from. Give us some hearts and likes and do share this on your wall. Because one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is here into his house. Amen. And I have much to share with you. Rabba Karabrota, I have not seen you for about a week or so. I've been super ultra busy, but God is good. And the Lord is on the move. Amen. And I have much to share with you, much to release to you today on this broadcast. So comment below where you were watching from. Because a man of God, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is in the house. And I cannot wait to connect you with this word, to connect you with this impartation, with this realm of revelation, because the spirit of God is moving and there is a birthing of miracle movements. I'm telling you, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to move forward like never before. If you're with me today, say amen. If you believe it, say hallelujah. Because I'm telling you, friends, God is moving. Shabbata, and I'm excited to get into this word that I have with you. And even though it's Sunday, and many of you may be at church, or maybe heading to church, or maybe you're watching the replay now, I want to declare over you: there's a birthing of miracle movements in the atmosphere in Jesus' name. So continue to share this on your wall. Tag somebody. Amen. Even today, this morning, it's 9:10 a.m. Pacific Standard. But even this morning, I woke up, I think around 5.30 a.m., hallelujah. I woke up by the hand of God, by the glory of God. And I woke up from a supernatural dream. Who has been dreaming in this last week or the last two weeks? It truly is a season of visitation and supernatural encounters, dreams and visions. So I thank the Lord and I praise Yah for the visions for the seer realm has been crystal clear. The seer realm has been super clear. And I believe God wants to invade your life with dreams and visions, with the realm of encounters and visitations. Amen. But this is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, one of your favorite prophetic voices. And I want to declare the realm of miracle movements in your life. So comment below where you are watching from. Give us some hearts and likes. Amen because I want to declare some things over you, things that I've been feeling, experiencing. I sense a mighty move. You're moving from Egypt. You're moving from, uh, from the valley of the shadow of death. You're moving from the wilderness. Your location is changing. Your address, your zip code is changing. Your view is changing. Your surrounding neighborhood is changing. 
Everything about you is about to change. God is about to change your landscape, your viewscape. There's going to be an uplifting and a lifting up. And there's going to be a greater glory and a new vision, fresh vision for those who are yielded to the Holy Spirit, fresh vision to those that are obedient to the word of the Lord. So begin to tag your friends, share this on your wall. Let your people know that Dr. Pastor Ben Lim is in the house because I want to prophesy right now because there is a birthing of miracle movements. Some will say miracle movements. I'm so excited to get into this word, but I want to give you some shout outs here. I see people tapping in. Hello, Sacramento. Hello there, British Columbia. And by the way, I'm going to be in Vancouver in about one week's time. Yes, Lord. Raba se terabosa tarabrata. Sharaba brota. Rick says, so excited. Thank you, Lord. Come on, somebody. Somebody shout hallelujah at Cape Town in the house. Robosa, San Antonio, Texas. I saw Houston, Texas earlier as well. Hallelujah. I am making some moves to begin to launch into Dallas. Glory. Prophetess Ivana, downtown Los Angeles, India. Jaba Karabrota. Thank you, Lord. Raba Korabrata. This is going to be a year of divine movement. Miraculous movement in Jesus' name. Albuquerque, Wind Talker from New Mexico, Oklahoma City. By the way, I'm going to be in Oklahoma at the end of this month. I'm going to be in Tulsa and Lord willing, OK City. So go ahead and message me, man of God, woman of God, because I'm going to be in Tulsa and Oklahoma City at the end of this month, January. Oakwood, Georgia, God bless you. Harabosa Tarabrata. Shakarabata. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Glory be to God. Jabakarabrosata. I know it's Sunday, so most of our crowd are at church or they're on their way to church or back from church. But let me tell you, friends, this word is very important and this word is for you. Amen. Atlanta, Georgia. I should come to Lompoc, California. I love Central Coast. Love Central Cal. Just need an invitation and a word from God. Amen. Hello there, Kansas. God bless you. Pakistan, Zindabad, Botswana, Sarasota. Hello there, Natalie. Bless you. Glory be to God. Someone say amen. I feel the glory of God in this place. I feel winds of change in the atmosphere. South Africa, Joe Berg. Amen. Zaba Karabrata. Thank you. I got some of my South Africa friends jumping on the broadcast here. Rabato Rabratata. Thank you, Father. Sai Cheles. Where is that from? What country is that from? Wyoming. God bless you. Zaba Tarabrosata. India. God bless you. Zeba San Jose. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Zaba Korabrosata. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Continue to share this on your wall. Tag somebody. It's so early in the West Coast. Wenatchee, Washington, Philippines. Thank you, Lord. East of Africa. Wow. God bless you. Never heard of that place. I say Chelis. Springdale, Arkansas, Phoenix in the house, Trinidad, Tobago. I'm believing to visit Trinidad, Tobago this year because I will be in Jamaica. Seattle, Newport. Thank you, Lord. Zaba Carabrosa. Thank you, Lord. Someone say hallelujah. Jabarabroskata. Hello from Germany. God bless you. Reedley, California. Continue to share this on your wall, friends, because in a minute I'm going to begin. Capron, Illinois. And today I want to talk about the miracle movements being birthed. 
There are miraculous movements of the Holy Spirit being birthed this month. There is a miracle realm, a mega miracle realm. Many movements will be birthed this month. And it will not be a movement of man or woman. It will be a movement of the hand of God. An undeniable, unstoppable, unforgettable, unquenchable move of the mighty hand of God. If you feel the Holy Ghost, say amen. Zabakara, if you're connecting with the Holy Spirit on this broadcast, say amen. God bless you, South Africa. One of my favorite nations on earth. One of my covenant nations. Rabo Sata. Someone say, I'm moving. Somebody say, I'm moving. Thank you, Lord. Somebody say, I'm moving. Well, glory be to God. God bless you, everybody. Happy Sunday. I know that many people are at church or going to church after church. But listen, I had some time this morning. So I wanted to come on and prophesy because I have not seen you on Facebook Live for about a week. So I want to say I love you. I miss you and happy new year. This is the eighth day of the new year. Eight in Hebrew stands for new beginnings. So I believe there is a new beginning. There's also a new birthing. And by the word of the Lord, I'm getting the Kairos Rhema because on the eighth day, of my first revival I ever hosted in a downtown underground basement in Los Angeles years ago. On the eighth day of that revival, the Lord gave me the word about the new breed. He said, there's a new breed rising up. And I never even heard about it. He, later on, I found out that, of course, Paul Kane and Bob Jones of the Kansas City prophets, they prophesied about the new breed. But on the eighth day, the Jewish boys were circumcised as a sign of covenant in their body. On the eighth day, that is the realm of covenant and new beginnings. And eight in Hebrew also means not of this world. So on the eighth day of that revival, I began to prophesy about the new breed. And in fact, my book called The New Breed, my book called The New Breed was birthed out of that day and out of that 21 day revival. Amen. And you can get that book on Amazon or through our website, bellamglobal.com. But friends, this is the eighth day of the new year. And of course, eight stands for new beginnings. And I believe God is breathing and birthing and he is blessing you with new beginnings. If you receive it, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes in this place because I want to declare over you that this is a month. This is a season where there's a birthing of miracle movements. There's many movements being birthed and I believe it's time for you to move. It's time for you to move. God is about to move many of you into a new level, into a new dimension into a new realm. He's moving you to a new place. Many of you are moving. Even for myself on Friday, I look for a property so that we can move into a studio office space. Even tomorrow on Monday, I'm going to be looking. Someone say, I'm looking because God says you need to look. God says you need to move. God says you need to begin to pack your bags because you're moving to a place called Breakthrough. So even for myself, we are in the process of looking for a new studio office space. I'm moving. I'm leaving Newport Beach and I'm returning back to the greater Los Angeles area because this is a year of movement. This is a year of preparation for a greater move. Those who have ears to hear and eyes to see, I declare this year is not just about 2023, but this year is about the rest of this decade. And there is a move being birthed. There are miracle movements being birthed on the earth right now. So God is saying, I'm about to move you. Many of you are going to be bi-locational. Many of you are going to be tri-locational. Some of you are also going to be trans-locational. What does that mean? That means you're always transiting or transitioning through and to different locations. Many of you are going to come in and out move in and out. There's a movement. There is a movement. And remember, when you do not move, that might mean that you're asleep or you're dead. I'm going to repeat that again. When you do not move, that means that you are asleep or, a, or dead. Only dead people do not move. There's no movement in their lungs, no movement in their heart, no movement in their cardiovascular, no movement in their mind. Are you brain dead? Are you heart dead? 
Is your body dead? Is your spirit crushed? But God says, I'm releasing fresh breath on this eighth day of this new year. I'm releasing the breath of God, the Ruach of the Kodesh, the Ruach of the Holy Ghost. I'm releasing the breath, the spirit, the life, the wind of God in Jesus' name. Even yesterday, there were different invitations that came forth. God is good. To the Caribbean, even to New York, I'm telling you, there's a movement. And God is saying in these 21 days of consecration, as many of you are fasting with me, fasting unto God, as many of you have dedicated the first fruits, the first month of this year unto the Lord, we're currently in 21 days of consecration. Every January and every June, our ministry, we commit ourselves to consecrate unto God for at least 21 days. But every January, there's a birthing. Every January, there is a birthing of miraculous movements. And I'm telling you, you are moving forward. I'm telling you, you are moving upward in the glory of God. If you believe it, say amen. Give me some hearts and likes. Begin to share this on your wall. I believe in this season, God is saying, get ready to move. Get ready to pack your bags. You're moving to a new location. You're moving to a new office space. You're moving to a new home. You're moving to a new neighborhood. You're even moving to a new church, says God. Some of you have to release yourselves. Release yourself from the old. Release yourself from the old wineskin, from the old assignment. It's done. It's finished. It's fulfilled. Hallelujah. And God is moving you. Everything around you is about to be different and is about to change. For you're upgrading in a greater glory dimension of his fire and of his presence. Someone say amen. Number of people have prophesied over me that I'm gonna be traveling more. If you only knew me and my life and my schedule, it almost seems impossible. And I had to rebuke and say, are you kidding me? I travel enough as it is. But who here knows that the word of the Lord will come to pass. And the Lord is saying in this year, 2023, get ready to move. Get ready to travel. Remember, because number three in Hebrew is Gamel. And Gamel in Hebrew number three, Gamel, it's shaped like a running man. It's shaped like a foot. Thank you, Bambi Hall, for being a subscriber. Gamel number three in Hebrew is shaped like a running man, is shaped like a foot. And this is a year where you're gonna run. This is a year where you're gonna walk. This is a year where you're going to move. This is a year where you're going to move forward like never before. If you receive it, say hallelujah. Now I believe in this year, God is beginning to birth, say birth, miraculous movements. There's gonna be movements of miracles, movements of signs and wonders, movements of supernatural power, grace, glory, and of the power of God. There's gonna be movements being birthed in Jesus' name. This year, this is a year of birthing of movements. And here I am, I'm getting ready for the rest of this year. And I'm so excited because there's gonna be a lot of traveling and a lot of moving. So God is saying, I'm moving things around. I need you to hear this. The Lord is saying, I am moving things around. God is moving people around. God is moving people around. Things are moving around. God is moving things around. So he says, get ready, make space, get your house ready, get your finances ready. I'm moving things around, says God, amen. So there is a birthing of miraculous movements in this year and in this season. So I wanna prophesy movements. It's not just a moment, but it's a movement. It's not just a moment, but it is a movement. And God is birthing movements in Jesus' name. You see, I woke up this morning at around 5.30 a.m. and I woke up from a very, very clear dream. Hallelujah. And the Lord began to download different words in fact, the Lord began to download a very specific word. And uh, I shared it uh, a bit yesterday on Clubhouse, on the Clubhouse broadcast. And I'm writing a blog about it now. But just to touch on that subject, this is the year of a 100-year anniversary of Angela's Temple 
being dedicated unto God. One woman, Amy Simple McPherson, a great general of revival. One woman named Amy Simple McPherson. She dedicated a world-renowned historical, groundbreaking, record-breaking building in the city of Los Angeles. And this was the birthing of the Foursquare Fellowship or the Foursquare Denomination. One woman. And this one woman on January 1st, 1923, 1923, this one woman dedicated Angelus Temple unto God dedicated a school, a Bible college unto God. And guess what? That birthed a great and mighty move. This is 100 years ago. 100 years ago, there was a dedication and a birthing of a miracle revival movement called the Four Square Denomination. Now we need to pray, amen, for every denomination, alliance, doctrinal movement, because a lot of them have become mausoleums and a lot of them have become a religious, traditional and demonic, even ordaining transgender quote unquote ministers, which is an oxymoron that can never happen. That's, that's never possible. That is an error, a heretical error. And that is an affront to the word of God and to the heart of Jesus Christ. So we need to pray because there's a move and a deliverance from denominationalism to moving into the new breed. So right now we're in a season where 100 years ago, exactly from this year, in 1923, there was the birthing and the dedication of Angelus Temple and a four square movement in Los Angeles, which touched the entire nation of United States and touched the entire globe. If you're with me today, say amen. Now, why is this important? Because God is a God who does it again. God loves history. Amen. And history tends to repeat itself. And if you understand history, then it becomes a realm of repetition. I'm going to say that again. History becomes a realm of repetition, which means a realm or an opportune time opens up again for God to do it again. And that's what testimony means. Testimony means do it again. Testimony means that God can and he will do it again. So when you begin to testify, then God releases that innate ability, that DNA, that activity, that supernatural grace for God to do it again. I feel the Holy Ghost. So in this year, 2023, which is the 100th year anniversary from January 1st, 1923 of Amy Simple McPherson, one woman, one woman of God. Where are the women of God at today? One woman of God who rose up against the grain, who pioneered against every other religious order and standard. One woman of God who was raised up by the hand of God. January 1st, 1923, she set up the Angelus Temple, dedicated this monumental historical building and the site. And it was the birthing of the four square denomination, a mighty gospel evangelistic movement that touched the world. So this year, God's about to do it again. I said this year, 2023, the Lord is about to do it again. If you receive it and believe it, say amen. So I believe this year there is a birthing of miracle movements. And here I am. We're here, uh, we're here in Los Angeles and a good friend, Pastor Song Bay, has birthed an extended revival in the heart of Los Angeles. I'm going to be ministering there tonight and tomorrow night. Amen. And even in a few hours, I'll be at my home church in Southern California at Open Heavens World. But tonight, there's going to be a movement in Los Angeles. Tonight and tomorrow. Tonight is day eight. Tomorrow's day nine. Someone say amen. And there's going to be a birthing of miraculous moves and movements in Jesus' name. If you're receiving this, say amen. Because I feel the spirit of God in this broadcast, in this place right now. But there is a birthing, a miraculous movement. And when God is behind something, 
he endorses it with favor. When God is behind something, he endorses it with ease, with provision, with breakthrough. The Bible says that the uh, sower will overtake the reaper. The word of God also says that uh, those who reap will share with those who sow. So there is a sharing of harvest this year. There is a reaping together of the plenty and the plentiful harvest this year. This is truly a year of abundance and harvest. If you believe it, say amen. So this year, my friends, there's going to be a birthing of miracle movements. What started with a moment is going to turn into a movement. And God is going to move you. I'm talking to you. God is going to move you. There's going to be a movement in your life of the spirit of God, of the fire of God, the breath of heaven. There's going to be a movement in your life. So are you ready to move? Because God's going to move with you, in you, and through you in Jesus' name. Once again, this year, 2023, the word that God gave me to release over this year and over the church this is a year of resurrection, dominion, and divine direction. Even according to Psalm 23 for 2023, this is a year where God's going to lead you out of the valley of the shadow of death. And he's going to lead you into green pastures, streams of living water. This is a year where God is moving you out of Egypt, out of the wilderness, out of obscurity. The Spirit of God is moving you from the valley, from a low place, from a place of hiding. About two weeks ago, I did a broadcast and the Lord prophesied and said, you are coming out of hiding. I'm telling you, Prophet Ivana, you are coming out of hiding. I believe I saw Amy or Becky Weaver. You are coming out of hiding. This is a year where you are coming out of hiding. If you believe it and receive it, I need you to shout hallelujah. So this year is a year of divine movement. The Bible says wherever you set your feet, God will give you dominion over that place, over that land. God will give you authority over that realm and over that region. So this is a year for the ecclesia, for the apostolic, for the prophetic. This is a year where the church of Jesus Christ is moving out of the building. The church has officially left the four walls. This is a year of divine movement. And like I said earlier, if God is behind it, then he endorses it. If God endorses something, then it's easy. There's provision. There's supernatural grace. If God endorses something, then it is unstoppable. If you believe it, say amen. Psalm 119, verse 133. Psalm 119, 133. The Bible says, order my steps in thy word. And let not iniquity have dominion over me. I'm going to read that again. Order my steps in your word. And let not any iniquity have dominion over me. Dom iniquity, sin will not have dominion over you. It's loosened in Jesus' name. Iniquity, infirmity, curses, snares, traps, attacks of the enemy, Delilah, Jezebel spirits will not have dominion over you. You will be free. You're moving in Jesus' name. Somebody say, I'm moving. And the Bible says, order my steps in your word. God is about to order your steps. There is a stepping over and there is a stepping into. So this year, God is going to direct your steps. He is moving your steps. He's ordering your steps. So many of you are going to walk and move into the glory of God. Amen. This year is a year of birthing of miraculous movements where you felt stuck, where you felt stagnant, where you felt like you were in a mug, a mud of muck, a miry clay, where you felt like your feet were stuck in mud and in clay. You were trapped. You couldn't pull it out. You couldn't get it out. But God says, I will deliver you from the miry clay. If you believe it, say amen. Luke 10, 19. The word of God says, behold, 
I've given you authority to tread on snakes and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. Amen. And nothing shall hurt you. Jesus has given you authority to tread. Do you know what that word tread means? It means to stomp. It means to walk over. It means to walk all over. This year, you're going to stomp on the head of the devil. This year, you're going to kick the devil in between his little nasty teeth, his gangrene teeth. This year, you're going to trample, tread on snakes and scorpions. What does that mean? You're going to walk over witchcraft, divination, sorcery, familiar spirits, Kirablakata. This year, you're going to trample on, stomp on, step over. You're going to tread on snakes and scorpions. You see, the interesting thing about snakes and scorpions is they are on the floor. They are on the ground. And many times it tries to stun you, snap at you, bite you. I declare the snake's bite will not touch you. They thought Apostle Paul was a god because the snake bit him. Have you been bitten by a snake? Did a witchcraft, Leviathan, try to bite you last year? Did the spirit of financial poverty and financial destruction try to bite your ankle? But I declare no more chains and no more shackles. This is a year where you're going to shake it off. Someone say shake it off. This is a year where you're going to shake it off. And they thought Apostle Paul was a god and they tried to worship Paul. But what did Paul say? I am a fellow servant, a human being, just like you. I am just another fellow servant, just like you. And Paul said, worship Jesus Christ and Christ alone. Someone say, amen. Have you been bitten by a snake? Have you been bitten by a scorpion? It's funny because in different countries, even in Asia, we eat snakes for lunch. We eat scorpions for dinner. So much shout hallelujah. I'm telling you, friends, this is a year you're going to tread on, trample on, stomp on. You're going to walk all over. And I declare you're going to dance on top of snakes and scorpions. You will not be held back. You're not going to be bitten at a low level. What snakes and scorpions do is they try to bite you at your low level. They try to bite you at that ground level. But the Lord says, I'm gonna take you from a ground level of warfare into the airfare. And the airfare means the heavenly realms, the throne room of God, the third heavens. The airfare means that you are going up like the Air Force One. Some would say hallelujah. So this year, there's a birthing of miraculous movements a birthing of movements. It will not be stopped. You will not be stopped. Your ministry is going to become a movement. Your business is going to become a movement. Your brand, your idea is going to become a movement. I declare every dead and stagnant place will come alive like a river in Jesus' name. Psalm chapter 8 verse 6. You have given him dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under his feet. Some would say it's under my feet. The whole earth, all of creation is under your feet. Do you know what that means? That means it is a footstool for your feet. It's a footstool, my friends. Your feet, it's not gonna be hanging or dangling out. It's not gonna be dangling around. Your feet is gonna rest upon creation. Your feet is going to rest upon giants. What happened with David? David slayed Goliath. And the Bible says that Goliath's head was under the feet of David. David, as a sign, as a conquistadora, as a sign, someone say sign, as a sign that he conquered. David, as a giant killing giant, he placed his foot on top of the head of Goliath. 
who's ready to stand on top of mountains. I declare you're going to stand on mountaintops. This is a year where you're going to stand and be a king and a queen of the hill. This is the year God's going to elevate you, raise you up. Do you know why? Because you slayed those giants. Because you slayed those Goliaths. And one by one, we're going to see giants fall. One by one, we're going to see mountains conquer. One by one, you're going to be on top of these high places. So this year, it's a year of your feet. It's a year where your feet are going to move. But remember, before you your feet moves, you have to think movement. Before you physically move, you have to mentally move. You have to spiritually move. You have to emotionally move. And I declare there is a spiritual revival taking place in your life. I declare there's a spiritual movement in your spirit. Awake, awake, O oh sleeper. Arise from your slumber. Arise from your daydreaming, from your siesta of the afternoon nap, from your boredom, from your tiredness, your lethargy. Awake, awake, O oh sleeper. There's a spiritual move. And I believe this year, this is a year of the birthing of revivals. There's going to be extended revivals, revival fire. Even in the 23 words that I released for 2023, I saw revival fire in Canada and Australia, even in Europe and in Asia, of course, all throughout America. But there's going to be revival fire. So get ready to move. Get ready to move with God. Move with the winds of the Holy Spirit. Someone say amen. The Bible says, those who are of the Spirit, they move like the winds, to and fro. You don't know where they come from, and you do not know where they're going, because you're one with the wind. Can you be one with the wind? Can you be gone with the wind? This is a year where the winds of God will move you. And I declare right now, mighty rushing winds. For even now I see in the spirit a mighty rushing of winds from the east coast to the west coast. From the east coast of North America will come a mighty rushing of winds to the west coast of North America. Some would say winds. Winds of change. Winds of prosperity. Winds of glory. Winds of movement. This is a year of change, of mighty movements being birthed. Someone say amen. So I thank God that even in the beginning of this year, I myself, I'm moving. I'm leaving Orange County, Newport Beach, and I'm moving back to the greater Los Angeles area and region. Amen. Even myself, I'm looking for a new studio office space. So our ministry is moving. Our church is still in Fountain Valley, Orange County, but we're looking for a studio office space. And I thank God that even in the beginning of this year, that there's a mighty revival, Los Angeles outpouring. Today's the eighth day of extended consecutive revival meetings in Los Angeles. So I thank God that I am a part of this extended revival in the city, in the heart of Los Angeles. And it's not a coincidence because this year started off January 1st as the 100th year anniversary, 100 year anniversary of Amy Simple McPherson dedicating Angeles Temple unto God dedicating the birth of the four square denomination, dedicating the birth of a great revival school, revival movement and environment unto God. This year began with the 100th year anniversary. And I declare and I decree a great move is coming. 
I'm telling you, God's about to move you up and move you out. Many of you are going to move. Someone say, I'm moving. I declare right now, you're moving. You're moving into a new home. You're moving into a new space, a new place, a new location, a new job. I declare you're moving up to a higher financial income. Your financial income bracket, your gross and your net income bracket is going to move up. Because this is a year of divine movement. This is a year where the spirit of God is moving you. So will you move with God? Will you move with the voice of the Lord? Because it's the voice of obedience that causes you to move. Remember, the Israelites rejected the voice of God. They were disobedient. They said, I'd rather be stuck in Egypt. I'd rather be stuck and married with the old wineskin and the old season. I'd rather complain and be terrified in fear rather than move forward in faith, rather than obeying the voice of the Lord with faith. I'd rather be stuck with Egypt, Kiraba, rather than move up and forward with the glory of God. The Lord is saying, do you trust me? The Lord is saying, do you believe in me? The Lord is asking you, do you want to go with me? Do you want to move with me? Go to a place far, far away. Are you ready to move? <clears throat> I believe many of you, you're going to expand. You're going to move. Supernatural increase is on this broadcast. And every single person that is listening and watching, that is under the sound of my voice, you're going to move at the speed of your obedience. I said you will move at the speed of your obedience. It's not just revelation, but it's obedience. Because obedience is the physical, natural action that's manifested from the spirit realm. Revelation is of the mind and of the spirit. Thank you, Marie Hope, for being a subscriber. Revelation is of the spirit and of the mind. But obedience is faith and action. And faith without works is dead. So God says, get ready to move. God bless you, Juan Martinez. Thanks for being a subscriber. God says, get ready to move. For you will move at the speed of your obedience. You will move at the speed of your obedience. And there's divine increase in this place. There's supernatural expansion available for you. The Spirit of God is inviting you. Come up higher, my beloved. Come up higher. And I decree and I declare that in this year, you are moving. Everything about you is moving. Every mountain will be moved. Every mountain will be moved. I declare over your life, every mountain of injustice, poverty, financial debts, relational barriers, accusations, allegations, gossip, slander, division, heartache, infirmity. Every mountain will be moved and removed out of your life in Jesus' name. And I declare and I decree, even in the United States, God is about to move. In the White House, God is moving. In the crack house, God is moving. Someone say amen. There is a move. For I see a mighty revival sweeping the United States from the east to the west. And as it goes east to west, it goes west to Midwest or west to central. Hallelujah. The heartland of America will be awakened again. The heartland of this country will come alive again. I declare and I decree it over your life in Jesus' name. If you receive this word today, I want you to say amen. Give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall and tag somebody. In Jesus' name. But there are movements being birthed this year. Movements. And these are movements of genuine revival. Movements of genuine resurrection power. Of recompense. There is a wealth movement. A transference of wealth. 
and God wants to drop it and deposit it into your spirit and into your life. There is a movement and God is about to raise up many women. God's about to move upon the women of God where there's been a battle against gender identity, true biblical identity of biological genders, where there's been a battle. God is saying, I'm going to move upon the woman of God. So there's a move upon God's mighty warrior woman, wonder working woman, God's Deborah's, God's Esther's, God's Hannah's, God's Mary's, Abigail's, Eve's, Sarah's. There is a movement upon the woman of God. This year, God's going to raise up many women, women of purity, holiness, integrity, power, like Amy Simple McPherson. Let the woman of God arise. I declare it in Jesus' name. New breed of woman entrepreneurs, a new breed of woman miracle workers, a new breed of woman apostles and prophets. And yes, I 100% believe that women can be prophets and apostles. But just like men, both male and women, we must be submitted and we, we must be accountable and be under covering. Amen. But in this day and in this season, the Lord is raising up a new breed of women of God. And I declare it this year, 2023, get ready to see birthing of miracle movements, a birthing of women of God, a birthing of movements surrounded, accompanied with the supernatural, miracle signs and wonders. Someone say, I'm birthing. Somebody say, I'm birthing. There is a birthing taking place. There is a, an emergence, a revival, a restoration taking place. And I declare you're moving. You are moving, my friends. You are moving to a new realm. You're moving into a new position, a new location, a new job. God is moving you. Hallelujah. Rabbi, I want you to pray in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, the Lord said, get ready to move. Get ready to move. Shout out, the water's breaking. The baby bump is bumping. Get ready to move. Get ready to birth. Even from Los Angeles to the end of the earth, the home of the greatest revivals, the home of Amy Simple McPherson, where Amy Simple McPherson exactly 100 years ago in 1923, she dedicated Angela's Temple to God, dedicated the Four Square Movement unto the Lord. This is a year of birthing of miracle movements, not denominations, but true genuine revival movements. This is a year where people are gonna be delivered from denominationalism, delivered and released from religious spirits. And this is a year where God is moving you into a greater glory movement of the new breed, apostolic, prophetic, evangelistic, so winning. Someone say amen. I want you to comment below the country, the city, and say there's a move happening in my city. There's a move happening in Jesus' name. I prophesy this over your life, your region, in Jesus' name. Someone say movements are being birthed. I will move, I will walk in the glory of God. Amen. Prophetess Abigail, God bless you. Atlanta, Georgia. Miami, Florida. South Africa, Cape Town. Seychelles. South Africa, Cape Town. Haines City. FLA, Florida. Oklahoma City. South Africa. Hollywood, amen. I believe this year we're going to see a move in Hollywood. 
We're already seeing it in the sports and media and entertainment. Palm Beach County, Heathrow, Florida. I'm gonna be ministering in Heathrow and Sanford next month. Yes, Joe Berg. Ireland, Athlone and Galway, God bless you, Ireland. South Africa, in the UK, amen. Kansas City, come on somebody. Dene Nation, Arizona, hallelujah. I will be in the Dene Nation next month. South Africa, Durban, Cuba, hallelujah. Rabba Sarabratata. Prophet Zalana says she believes the Hollywood sign is 100 years old this year. Come on, somebody. We declare the Hollywood revival. This will be the Hollywood revival in Jesus' name. In Hollywood, Los Angeles, Luxembourg, Europe, Maryland, DC, the DMV, movement in Dallas, Trinidad, Tobago. Orange County. Yes, Lord. Zabacarabrosa. Durban, Cape Town. Yes, Australia. Do it again in Australia, God. The land of the Holy Spirit. I receive Jesus in Newcastle, Australia. Yes, Orange County. Hollywood Revival. Jaba Karabrosa Babarata Zebra Ta LA County, yes Lord. Thank you, Father. From France, Durban, Turkey, Amen. Turkey will be set on fire in Jesus' name. Seychelles, thank you. Ramsgate, South Africa. Antelope Valley, Amen. I've had two extended revivals in Antelope Valley. Jamaica and Korea, hallelujah. Jaca, Michigan, amen. I'm hearing of great things in Michigan, in Flint, and also in Grand Rapids. Amen. Thank you, Lord, for Cuba. Someone say revival movements are being birthed. Revival movements are being birthed, my friends. Revival movements are being birthed. Chicago, amen. I can't wait to be back in Chi-Town later this year. Revival movements are being birthed. In Jesus' name, I want you to lift up your hands, church. God, I ask you, baptize your people in fresh fire. Baptize your people in fresh fire. Let a fresh fire, oil and glory, the fog of heaven, let it come upon your people in Jesus' name. I declare the wonder working power of God. Salt Lake City, amen. Listen, Utah really needs it, I'm telling you. I've been praying for Salt Lake and Utah for a long time. Never been there, never been invited there yet. Jarabrata. Look at this. Michelle says, the Lord canceled a $100,000 debt this week. Your words are confirmed. God bless you, woman of God. London, amen, Milagre, I believe. Belleville, South Africa. Miracle movements are here in this place. Pakistan. Glory to God. Someone say, I receive it. Bosnia, amen, beautiful. I think it's my first time seeing somebody from Bosnia. Come on, I want you to receive that grace for debt cancellations. This sister Michelle says, the Lord canceled 100,000 in debt this week. Your words are confirmed. I want you to say, I receive it. I want you to say, confirm your word in my life, Jesus. Miracle movements in Jesus' name. Rabba Sarabrata. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wow, thank you, Erica. God bless you. 
Zobarabrosata. Somebody say, I'm moving. Say, I'm moving. You are moving, my friends. There are miracle movements being birthed this year and even this month and in this season. Miracle movements being birthed. Listen, Robert, Barbara, message me, please. Message me here on Facebook because I am coming to Tulsa and OK City at the end of this month. But there are miracle movements being birthed in Jesus' name. This month, there is a birthing of miracle movements, a birthing of revival movements this month. If you receive it, say amen. God bless you, Navajo Nation. Now, Navajo Nation, Dene Nation, I'm gonna be in Albuquerque and in Gallup next month. We have a conference we're doing in Gallup, New Mexico, even in Albuquerque. So I want you to join us. Do follow me here on Facebook for our events or on our website, bendhamglobal.com because the next three months, I'm, I'm, I'm believing I'm going to be in Florida. I'm going to be in Colorado. I'm going to be in uh, New Mexico. I'm going to be in Oklahoma. I'm going to be in Canada, Vancouver. I'm going to be in Hawaii. Hallelujah. I'm going to be in Pennsylvania. Possibly in Montana. Glory be to God. So come and see me, my friends. Amen. So Lord, I thank you for the release of this word, the impartation of birthing. Get ready for extended revivals. Some of you are catching this anointing right now. Get ready for extended revivals, extended moves of God. God is about to extend your life and expand your life. So Lord, bless your people today. In Jesus' name, touch them now from the top of their head to the soles of their feet. I want you to say, I'm moving. I've been in Pakistan many times. Not this year, thank you. Amen, Amy and Becky, praise God. Rabba Baba. Some of you might be feeling fire on your feet or a warmth on your feet. Do you know what that means? That means God is anointing your feet to move. Someone say, my feet are anointed to move. My feet are anointed to travel. Amen. Your feet are anointed, my friends. Who's ready to move? Who's ready to travel? Who's ready to elevate? Who's ready to trample on, step on snakes and scorpions? Your feet are anointed with oil. Tyler says, my stomach is warm. That means you're birthing in the spirit with the spirit of intercession and travail. Someone say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now friends, I do want to say some of you do pray and consider joining me for this anointed getaway to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, all inclusive food, beachfront hotel at the Westin Resort Hotel and Spa in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. This is going to be a game changer, friends. Amen. We're going to go from New Mexico to Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. But this weekend, Valentine's Day weekend, I invite you to be with us in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. Valentine's Day weekend. This is strictly for leaders, marketplace leaders, ministers who want to go up to the next level. 
Amen. Now, do you need a vacation? Yes, you do. You look like you need a vacation. Amen. You look like you need a vacation. Beachfront, oceanfront, and Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. All-inclusive food. It's going to be such a high level. It's going to be lindísimo. It's going to be so extravaganza para la gloria de Jesús. But if you are a leader, if you are a marketplace minister, if you want to tap in to the glory of God, then join me and Apostle Stephanie Mines, Dr. Tadius Carter, my good friends in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico. It's still not too late for you to sign up and join. But registration will close in the next two days. So if you're in the United States area and you're saying, Dr. Ben, I'm a leader. I want to go to the next level. I want to connect with. I want to network with. I want to receive impartation and be equipped and start off this new year high and well in the glory of God. Then this leaders advance, this getaway in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico is for you. It's been designed for you to rest, to receive, for you to be refreshed and for you to enjoy the glory of God. Beautiful oceanfront, beachfront resort in Puerto Vallarta, Mexico, all you can eat, all inclusive. It's gonna be one of a kind event. So I invite you to join and to be with us. If you're interested, say I'm interested and click on the link for more information. Like I said, the registration is gonna close in two days. So jump in the glory, amen. Well, friends, thank you for watching today for there's a birthing of miracle movements. I want you to share this on your wall, tag somebody, amen. And do consider being a subscriber. Give this page a like and a follow. And do follow me on my different social media platforms, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. We hope to see you soon, my friends. Yes, Joey, you can come from South Africa if you're willing to fly. Of course. We love South Africa. Amen. Well, friends, the Lord bless you. The Lord causes his face to shine upon you. And I pray that there will be a birthing of miracle movements in this year, in this month, over your life. In Jesus' name. God bless you, friends. Happy Sunday. I'll see you soon.